People across the Commonwealth continue to react to the heartbreaking news that Celtics legend Tommy Heinsohn has passed away. Heinsohn was involved in all of the team's NBA titles as a coach, player, or broadcaster. Boston 25 Sports Director Tom Lydon here now with the latest. Tom, on how the basketball great is being remembered. 24 hours after we learned about Heinsohn's passing, Celtics president Danny Ainge shared some thoughts on what Tommy meant to him. Danny, too, has spent so much of his adult life in Boston with the Celtics, so he understands the power and appeal of the franchise and what it means to be so dedicated to the green. I found interesting Danny's pointed take on the Tommy he knew, the Tommy we didn't see on television or in public, a man who cared deeply about the Celtics, the big decisions being made every day, and the impact those decisions had. A man who wasn't afraid to voice his opinion or offer his guidance, which a leader like Danny took to heart. I'm going to really miss having Tommy around. He was, he was fun to be around. He was uh, a guy that you knew always had your back. And he was passionate about it. Like he didn't always agree with you. He didn't always think that the Celtics were doing the right thing. Uh, even though he was always in our corner on air, he was um, he was a very loyal friend and um, supporter of the team. It's clear Tommy Heinsohn was incredibly loyal. He was also incredibly memorable. Ahead at five, I'm going to share with you what Bill Belichick had to say about Tommy, the impact Heinsohn had on one of the most successful football coaches in history. In the studio, Tom Lydon, Boston 25 News. Player, coach, broadcaster Tom, it's really hard to undersell what he meant to the city, to that mm. franchise. You have a feeling like maybe he was a little bit of a fly on the wall in some big decisions or they, what do you think about this? Big right? time. I absolutely think that he voiced his opinion. He had that great historical perspective. He knows what works over the course of time and I'm sure he was not shy in voicing his opinion. No, not at all. <laughs> Tom, we'll see you at five. Thanks.